As with the first album, I wanted lots of guest contributions. Grimrick, who composed a, an excellent uh, sequence of synth for one of the songs. A guy called Darkest, he created a, a wonderful synth sections for three of the songs on the album. And those are ideas which I wouldn't have come up with myself. Jake Rogers, very, very talented guy. He performed flute on Fire in the White Stone. Julie Russell, uh, who has a beautiful voice, she performed the female vocals. Mark Deeks performed all the piano parts beautifully. Chris Norton added a voice to the choir. Aslak Tolonen, who's well, well known from his bands Nest and Seven, and he plays a traditional Finnish instrument called a kantala, um, which is kind of like a, a harp that you lay across your lap and you pluck the strings and it has a very ethereal sound to it and Nest has always been a big inspiration for Walkensman. There's a cello that underpins everything on the album. My favourite cellist is Jo Quayle. She's a friend, uh, she performs beautifully. She uh, composed a little section actually at the end of one of the songs which represents the point in the story where the beast is slain. So she created this, this kind of amazing cacophony of cello layers. I love albums that, are, that hold your attention and a, a way that you can do that is to bring new textures in with different songs and um, they create different moods and obviously that helps with the, the story as well because um, if you're trying to create a certain mood that's, that's reflecting what's happening in the story, you need different instruments to do that.